Hey everybody, welcome to Dad Challenge Podcast. Before we get started today, I want to talk to you about Exter. Exter are these super sleek, modern, modular wallets that hold up to 12 cards. They keep everything protected and they are sweet because they get this button. Click, click, boom cards. I love this thing. I take it everywhere. It's Christmas time. It's shopping. So every time I pop this thing out, boom, people are like, that's a nice wallet. I'm like, it's an extra. And I say it like that too, because my wife's with me and I want to make it awkward. Okay. But I do, I tell everybody about it, but I love my wallet because it's got this tracker inside, which is solar power. You don't need a battery. Two hours in the sun, three months of charge. And I use this thing every day because I lose my wallet. This was in like the side of my car because it fell out of my pocket. And I'm like, where's my wallet? I have to spend money. That thing came in handy multiple times, promise you. These also have built-in RFID protection for your card so people can't be like scanning it and stealing your money because that's a thing. And I mean, I just love to access your money with the click of a button. Pretty badass, right? It's like an action movie. Are you ready to spend? That's cheesy, I'm sorry. They're also environmentally friendly with high quality materials like Italian leather, base grade aluminum and carbon fiber. I used to have this old dad bifold wallet and I switched over to the new one and I am absolutely just enamored. Fits in your pocket, sleek with your phone. It's in a front pocket like that or an inside pocket. It's just bad. It's like you pull this thing out and you're like, <laughs> just, it's just, you know, mm -hmm. I love it. And I get a ton of compliments specifically from people I'm spending money at stores. I'm like, that's a slick wallet. They're probably just trying to get more money out of me and it works. So if you're tired of bulky wallets and back pain, make sure you order today. It's 40% off extra wallet sale. If you use my discount code below and use the code dad get it now so you get it before christmas that's one of the most important things this is going to be the gift of the year for dads i promise i mean unless you're getting them like a tesla or something that's that's the gift of the year you know what the best thing about this is it's the gift that keeps on giving it's a reminder to your husband that you love him so every time he goes to spend money on you diamond earrings or just going out to get you some ice cream he'll do this every time he hears this click he'll know that you love him right it's just it's that's the most important part of this wallet it's the click of love. My wife loves me. I forgot about that. And then he pays for the thing, right? Okay, anyway. So make sure you head over to my link below. Again, thank you so much, Extra, for teaming up with me this Christmas season. I hope that everybody buys one of these, even for yourself. Put it in your purse. Why not? It's a good place. It's even for even just a good place to keep your card safe in your purse. I mean, that's sick, man, right? You can be dazzle it. I don't know. Put a sticker on it. I don't know. Dudes don't do that stuff, but you could. So anyway, make sure you head over order yours today. Thank you so much extra for teaming up with me, the Dad Challenge Podcast. I think your wallets are amazing. Order it. Okay, let's get to the Dr. Yazin video. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Snarkmas Day. 12. I know I missed yesterday because I was just, I need a day off. I'm on dad duty for four days straight. Kathy decided to take some time. She finished school and she wanted to go hang out and do some fun stuff with her sister. So I'm on dad duty and I just needed a break. We had soccer. We had tons of crap to do. So sorry about that. I try my best. But uh, yeah, we had a good live last night and we wrote some songs, had some good times. Decorated the tree, as you can see. It's got all the decorations on it including the swear pillow and the teeth and everything else and the wig in the top for Alicia. There's the wig. Nice, eh? And today we're continuing on the Doherty D's Nuts December. But before we get to that, we're going to spin the old wheel. Someone's going to win a prize. So let's dance. Yeah, baby. Jessica Slocum, you win a prize. Reach out to me, Josh, the Dad Challenge Podcast.com with your shirt size and your address, and I'll hook you up. Otherwise, let's get to this thing, all right? So I need you to see this. Just so you're aware of what's going on in the Doherty world, I don't I don't, I've never seen someone who's gained this many subscribers so fast have the dislike ratio that she's getting. 2.8 thousand downvotes in this video. That is insane. You can't even see the downvote button and people are still downvoting. I used to get like, I don't know, in my big videos, eight, seven, eight download or downvotes. And now I don't get any. 
I mean, I get one maybe, right? And it's just because people don't aren't bothered. People don't even see their downvote and they still are bothered enough to downvote these videos. So we're on day one of Christmas in New York City with our 12 kids vlogmas. I'm like four days behind. So thanks, Alicia, for all the content. Okay, so we left them at City Field. The kids were like, let's go back to the hotel. They were tired. They didn't want to be there. And then they continue on with an entire full day again, still in New York City. Like, this isn't over. That wasn't like, that to me would be, okay, we're going back to the hotel, relaxing. The kids don't want to do this. They didn't get to. This is the rest of that day that we're going to see now. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia Hi. with the Dockerty Dozen. Dockerty roasted by the DCP. Josh is sniffing his junk on live stream. Lush makes some food that nobody will eat. And then orders pizza cause she knows. I don't know the chords, so I'm just making shit up. Josh burns turkey to a gosh darn crisp. And no one's gonna eat that burnt shit. Tiny tots that feel so alone. Cause Lush will never stop filming. Then this brick. I don't even know the chords to this thing. It's weird. They know the Kona truck is on its way. It's loaded with lots of dyes and sugar they donate And their blood pressure must be so damn high See, I don't know the rest, I didn't write anything here And so I'm asking just this one damn thing To Alicia, Josh, and Nana too Please give your kids some privacy And kiss my whole white ass That's the worst one. I don't care. The worst one. Three flats or something. I don't know how to play that song, so I just made that shit up. So anyway, let's continue down this awesome video. And we are in New York City, day one, with our 12 kids. We thought we'd take you along. Let's go. We thought you'd... I, just stop. We thought we'd take you... Th you th <laughs> really? You thought you'd literally document everything you do with your children and not spend any time with them alone. Got it. Cool. 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 Notice how the parents and the grandparents... Nobody sits with each other or talks to each other either. It's just every... It's like they're, they're like a team. Don't talk to me. I got my headphones on. Nobody's hanging out. How was your day? Building into them. Just loving on them. Nobody does that in this family. Nobody loves on the children in this family. And people are like, well, what about the gifts? That's not loving on your children. Okay? These kids don't know love, man. It's so sad. We are headed to our... Flying to NYC long... Okay. Hotel. We had an hour-long flight this morning. See, it was only an hour, and she still brought 40 pounds of snacks. Seamless, a little stressful, but that's just me, like, stressing about nothing. Uh, but we well, I stress about your earrings. Why? So let me get this woman some different earrings. <laughs> made it, so we're headed to the hotel to check in, and then we'll take you along on the rest of our day. We got to take a tour of City Field. I will make a separate vlog about that that you can check out. That was so much fun. You got Water. You needed to bring water. Drink water. It's Christmas, Alicia. Drink some water. Check it out. Oh, thanks for filming the trees. <laughs> You're so bad at this, Alicia. On the way. On the whoa. On the way to. Okay. She made a. Okay, so this is the thing. They brought a bucket of snacks, and somebody was saying that the snacks are what cost a lot of money. I don't think so, but someone said that. So she paid 150 extra dollars to bring something she could have just bought for 150 or like way less than $150 there. Okay? So she brought that, didn't need to bring 150 extra, didn't need, paid an extra $150 for shit that she didn't pay $150 for. Okay? She gets there, then makes an online order while she's there that's going to get delivered to the hotel. <laughs> you idiot! So she orders sheer top control pantyhose, sheer top control, sheer toe pantyhose, again, two of them, 
So he orders four pairs of pantyhose, okay? Then orders 12 CT, is that 12 count of water? Oh, she okay, so she orders eight times 12 bottles of water. She orders 96 bottles of water, okay? She orders whole milk, because, oh my God. The hotel, I placed a couple of- Gain dryer sheets, what? And then orders Gatorade? Gatorades? Gatorades? Small grocery. This is literally what she buys at Wegmans! She orders to- She orders Velveeta again, that shit is disgusting. Um, plastic, and she can't even- The hotel will give you cutlery, lady! They'll give you cutlery! Even on the road, she has to buy plastic cutlery! More water! Get delivered to the- More water! The hotel- So why don't you get the snacks delivered? What an idiot! Oh my god! The waste of this woman! She spent like $300 right there on just shit she's gonna get delivered to the hotel. Once we got there. We hate you. So when we come to New York City, because there's so many of us, it's just easier to rent a bus when we go places. Um, easier, not cheaper, that's for sure. Of like five taxis. So. I I want to know how much this bus rental was. Like they got it for the whole weekend too. Like there are four days. That bus is on call for their four days, not just like one trip. Because you know the one trip is going to be five six hundred dollars. So she has this thing booked for four days, thousands upon thousands of dollars. It's pretty cool. And she didn't need this big ass bus. She just needed a sixteen. I mean, up to you can get a twenty passenger. This is like a fifty passenger. Um, Alicia, did you yeah. have to stay on the bus or get out? Well, we gotta pull up so we can get the suitcases out. Oh, yes. Um, hi, I was seeing... Um, yes, I'm filming this, just so you're aware. If we could check in yet. How cute is that? That's, that's, that's pretty cute, actually. I will give you that. Hey, okay. These kids never engage. They're always on a, a device. Always. <laughs> Yeah. Ew, is this guy hitting on Alicia? Dude, you don't trust me. You don't want none of that smoke. Her jeans. She wears her jeans too much, the same jeans. <laughs> this hotel looks damned expensive. Hi. Shit. Well, you see, we can get corn dogs. I mean, I know kids are kids and they want to eat. But they, all these kids want to do is eat. And it's never just like something, hey, you said we could eat. It's like, we need to go get street corn dogs somewhere. Like, that's the most important thing right now is corn dogs. Yeah, you're going to share a bed with me? Okay. Again, I don't know how they fit six kids in each room. That seems crazy to me. I have someone. Six kids and two adults. So seven people in each room. That must be, they ma somebody's sleeping on the floor. Aww. Look at it. Yes. Guys, like, <laughs> you just hit me with a teddy bear. Oh, they're giving him all teddy bears. Please. Doorman's trying to make his 20. Why are these kids so sad? Like, you just got a teddy bear, man. Breeze a sweetheart. Man, I feel. Sometimes you see the, the, the interaction of these kids, and just in, in spite of how Alicia treats them, these kids are still amazing. And it hits your heart because uh, Bree reminds me a lot of my daughter. And my daughter is a very big, gentle sweetheart. Everybody loves her. She just loves everybody. Bree, it hits me. It sometimes just hits me. And I feel so much more bad for these kids because this is the world that they are forced to be in. And they don't know anything else. And it's so heartbreaking that they don't actually... And I, I, Because we see every moment that she films. Okay, We see everything. Because she films every damn moment. You can't use the excuse on this one. Well, you only see 20 seconds of her life. No, you don't. She has the camera on every single day that she's in life. And I never see these kids get the love that they deserve. Or that they're owed. Ever. Not any of them. Maybe Alex gets it. Maybe. But I don't ever see these kids getting doted on. And you should dote on your children. Save children who are loved, they sleep. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. So his name, his middle name is Blaze.
Some people were in live chat like, my kid's name is Blaze. I'm like, wow, okay. It's your fault, not mine. So one more thing is going to be in the landfill, though, in the next, or they're just going to all leave it at the hotel. These kids get so much stuff that when they receive other things, they're like, okay, thanks. Yeah, this is expected. That's nuts, man. So they have rooms Oh, my God. Let's go. Come on. Check in. The whole point of staying in a damned expensive hotel is to get the fancy view. But they're like, we well, have to wait. Well, we're not waiting. That's what she's saying. Did you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Josh getting his two dollars ready for the tip, dude. It's 2022. Probably need to tip a little more than that. Okay, Here's me. two for you. You can't buy anything with this. Not literally nothing. But here you go. If you are bringing a family of like, a, if you're bringing a party of what looks like 18 people, you're tipping more than $2. Okay, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. You're traveling with this many people. You need help. This many people. You're quadrupling. You're doing a 20 every time you need some help. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. You don't give someone a $2 tip for helping 18 people. That's silly. No. I was giving it to Bree. That's nice. <laughs> you look so cute. Bree's a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so she's told to say thank you afterwards, and then she films that part. <laughs> they're like, get these kids some like $2 gifts because their rooms are like $16,000 a day. Oh my god, cut it! How long is this one? These kids are. James is so tired. Everybody's so tired. I wonder where Nevaeh is because you don't see her in this crowd. She probably went somewhere to sit down and be alone. Yes. Your room is not ready yet. Thank you. Your room's not ready yet. You're just going to hang out in our room until your room's ready. So there's going to be 14 people in the room just hanging out. Cool, lots of space. I am. Yeah. Okay, we are... We are what? We are what? Okay, I'm showing you this before the kids run in. Okay, so, so they have two of these rooms. That couch. That's yeah. One of one the beds. Bed. And then we come over here. We have two rooms like these. Oh, I gotta go over there and open that one. Okay, so they have four rooms, not two rooms. Maybe you should have clarified that. That's four rooms. Hi. The teen suite has two beds and a cot. Hey, honey. And then okay, that's still not enough room for... Okay. And we have this one, and then they connect through here. So we have two of these suites. Okay, that's four rooms, in my opinion. Okay, that's, that's good. Thank God. And Bodhi is already unpacking. Alright, so we're gonna have for the trip. This looks super fun. It's a good trip. The kids can get whenever they want, and I ordered some pizza for lunch. Little Italy pizza. Twenty dollar tip. Eh, it's not bad. Hundred and twenty bucks for for pizza for that many people, that's a pretty good deal. I think it's a good deal. So we are waiting for pizza to get delivered. Um, just need a little something to eat before we go out to dinner and then the circus. Uh Wait, what? <laughs> so we're going to eat before we go out to eat. Okay. <laughs> just have a snack. You have a bucket of snacks. Guys, enjoy your snacks. You know what? Having your kids build up to go for a really nice fancy dinner, you don't have to eat pizza first. Just have a couple of snacks. We're going to eat in a couple hours. Eat your snacks. You're going to eat literally another meal before you go eat a meal. Are you guys listening to this? Pizza and donuts. They just ate donuts. Let's recap their day so far, all right? They woke up all grumpy as shit. They get to the airport. Finally, they get donuts. They get on the airplane. They get cookies. They get more sugar, more cookies, everything. Cookies. Okay? And pop that they got. Okay? Then they get to the thing. They do a tour. Then they get back. Then they eat more treats. And then they eat giant amounts of pizza. 
Cool. I am ironing the clothes that we're wearing out to dinner. Okay, James, did you get your... And some of the kids are showering. James, did you get the... Some of the kids are what? Sharding? Underwear. No, I didn't do that. I'm sure that Why don't you just wear a t-shirt or no shirt until after we eat so you don't get food on like yeah. this? Sure. You're not good at ironing either. You suck at that. Oh, I'm so sore. See, James just said that. I am so sore. I called that, did I not? He is so sore from something. And she's making him walk around New York City. Right, order the pizza. Oh shit. Way more pizza than we saw. So the coffee. Oh look, Dunkin' Donuts again. Oh my god. Thank you. How are you gonna carry? You got a camera in your hand, asshole. Okay, finally time to eat. This is the snack. Looks good though, I'm not gonna lie. Feeling at home. Yeah. Alex, how can you see? How do you see? Why do teenagers put their hair over their eyes so you can't see? I don't understand it. Is this a fat? I mean, am I old? Am I out of touch? How can you even see anything? Move your hair! All right, delivery is here. The Doherty Essentials. Oh my God. You're in New York, experience something else, for the love of God. Velveeta. Velveeta, Gatorade, Battles. Battles. <laughs> Battles. Okay, I can't take all the this time. This is Josh you. finished the ironing for me so I could shower. Okay. <laughs> Here's a quick view of. Okay. Oh, we are Alex. ready for dinner. Uh, but we just ate 18 slices of pizza. Now we're going out for dinner. Oh my God, are you okay, Alicia? The first coffee. Oh my God, f off. I want to go take some pictures on the stairs first. Jason, Jason, stop, stop. Okay. camera your camera's a little sick all right so all the kids are there i think these four are the it's really quite interesting because these four are the bio kids and everybody else around them is not bio alex looks like he's pissed neve is actually smiling not bad josh is like oh my god he's already half blitzed you know that for sure this is a nice hotel lobby let's be real couldn't wait till the people walked out of the photo though that's nice <laughs> Wow. You can get James pants at fit. <laughs> oh my god, it's noise. Stop! Get a different camera sound! Alright, we're just waiting for a few people, so they are writing letters to Santa. No, 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 no. Okay, we are just waiting for my parents, and then we're going to. Oh, I think it's Pam's over. He was there, Dinner. right? Is that who that was? Uh, yeah, that's Pam's ovary's daughter. Not matching with everybody, though. Okay, why is she wearing... It's freezing! This is here. Her mom is here with Harley over there. Pam's ovaries. You son of a bitch. Okay, let's go see if the bus is out there. Why are you focusing on Navia's butt? That was... That was, um, again, calculated. She does that on purpose. And it's so inappropriate. Why did she do that? Okay, wow. Stop letting your kids go through turnstile. Okay, stop. Whoopsie daisies. Go see if the bus is out there. Can you kids have a coat, please? It's literally December in New York. Everybody else out there with toques and coats on and everything. Your kids are out there with nothing. Oh my god. Even the most basic fundamental principles of a parent, she forsakes. All the time. You bought them brand new coats. Bodie Blaze was coming around again. Oh, out here. Cold. Yeah, it's cold. It's see they're even saying it's cold. Where are your coats? It's okay. Why are you going outside? The bus isn't there yet. This woman is an idiot. Just counted eleven. It's too. It's weird. How do you walk? Don't walk like that. Why are you walking like that? Jordan, we're here, honey. Let's go eat. Kids fell asleep. 
Damn, these kids are so tired. They're falling asleep. Oh, kids all look grumpy as hell too. They're not having. They're not having fun, man. Right. You almost got clipped by that car. Okay. Okay. Car mines. Let's all stand right here. This is the most unsafe place you could park to let off 12 kids. Okay. See, if you're a good parent right now, what you do is you get off and you literally just stand there where you could get hit while your kids go. You don't go first. You stand there and I don't care. Hit me. That's what you do. Etiquette. Hold on. Let's wait for everybody. Not even security's not even doing that. Well, the one guy is. Well, we're eating at Carmine's. They want corn dogs and Ben and Jerry's, and we're eating at Carmine's. Yeah, because they don't want anything that's home cooked. Clearly, they don't know what it's like. They've never experienced it. Okay. One, two, three. Look at me. Maybe if you put a coat on. Um, do you want to take the elevator with Bob? Okay, mom is almost holding Harley, sleeping, and we're going upstairs. You know what mom looks like? You ever seen um, Ace Ventura Pet Detective? You know what she looks like? She looks like Ray Finkel's mom from Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Laces out! <laughs> Would you like a cookie, son? Laces out! Laces out! Laces out. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Like, I like the oh my gosh. <laughs> So then why don't you show it? Don't show walking upstairs. Show the thing that's pretty. Then you just zoom in on a banister. Awesome. Looks good to me, I guess. You're so bad. Okay, so we have these two tables. Dad's walking here. Why is Dad walking? What? what? Why is Josh walking to the restaurant? Hmm, interesting. That's interesting. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Can you sit with the little kids, please? Where's Harley? Um, let's put... Where the hell is Josh? Why is he walking to the restaurant? Something tells me they had a fight and he's like, I'll meet you there. Okay? I'll meet you there. Maybe he had to sniff his dick at the hotel. Move down one more. Hold on. I'm hungry right now, so anything looks good right now. Security there just pounding the food. Oh my god, that job. So this apparently, this I think these two people are producers or something like that, of like Full House. Something tells me that they might be looking to get a show or they're connected, and I think he probably paid for all this. I don't think this came in a licious pocket. Um... Interesting. I don't know. I don't know why these people have an interest in the Doherty Dozen. They're terrible people. So if you're watching this, Bob, why? Literally, why? Maybe teach your kids to use a fork and a knife at a fancy restaurant. Just at a fancy restaurant. These kids are like, these forks are made of metal. I don't, I've never used one before. It feels weird. The weight is off. These kids don't even know life without plastic utensils. So no wonder they're using their hands. But you can just say, hey, kids, you're at a fancy restaurant. Use a fork. These producers are really invested in these kids. Hmm. Never put your kids in a situation where they can be in Hollywood. That's it. That's it. Hollywood is detrimental to children. I don't care who. The majority of children who enter into Hollywood and get into that type of world, it's detrimental. We're going to be covering the Johnny Cake Plus 8 situation pretty soon when it's less snarky. But this shit is not something you want to put your children into. Big Apple Circus. Holy shit. $115, $114 per ticket. And they have like 18 people. $2,052 for these tickets to go to the zoo, which might have been comped by Bob. I'm not sure. I think Alicia covers it in another future video. 2000 bucks. The dinner easily was like three grand with that many people at a fancy restaurant. Probably some booze was consumed. 
They just didn't show it to you. Then they're going to a $2,000 with her thumb on it. Here we go. Why did you not bring coats? This just shows you how shitty of a parent you are. Your little girl over there is freezing her ass off. Everybody's freezing. You didn't tell people to bring. Why didn't you bring your coats? Because she needed pictures with their matching shirts. That's why. That's why they didn't bring coats. That's literally the reason. That's, that's negligence. I don't care who you are. That's negligence. It's freezing in New York City. It's winter. And nobody's wearing coats. And they're, they're, they're paying huge bucks to sit right in the front. I think this yeah, is where we go in. It's kind of odd. It's, it's probably not where you're supposed to go in then. It's not very well lit. It's like a circus. Did you miss that big ass light that's shining on you right there? Maybe it's a Wegman's entrance thing, you know? Burn. The only thing that she cuts for is when there's like a copyright song that's coming on because I just heard the beginnings of like a Wake me up before you go go Because she cut that Okay, let me just Oh, is she gonna do this the whole thing? Two, oh my god, fast three, forward! It's 13, 14, not 13, 14. You're fired, lady. Help me. <laughs> 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I was right, 18 people. Holy shit. Can you count? Pam's over his cookies. Everybody's 18 people. <laughs> and security gets to go too. It's like, I'm off of school today. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Anyway, no, mom, we have a security guard. <laughs> I'm like, where's the other two? Who are they? Did you adopt more, Alicia? I didn't, I don't know. Adopted two guys that are, they have security shirts. Okay. Laces out. Cool, more shit you're gonna throw in the garbage. Bodie. Shut up, Alicia. Why are you filming this part? Say thank you. Say not for your birthday presents, but say thank you to the lady who says thirteen. Mom, you want me to wear that? Hey, Dad, she's got your shirt. Put it in your bag, honey. Dad, she's got your shirt. This one is good for you, or do you want? Give Alicia one of those clown noses, cause she's a damned clown. Burn. Just like, give me that shit. <laughs> cool, here's some more sugar! Just what your kids need. Bags of pure sugar. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm, beer and wine. Mine, grab some popcorn and cotton candy in the middle there. Okay. Okay, thank you. Josh, like, there's beer and wine over here? I heard there's beer and wine. That's why I walked, because I had to stop at the beer and wine store. Holy shit. Look at those. They're all doing the sugar dance. Sugar, sugar, give me some sugar. You know the sugar dance? You're like, they're all happy, then two minutes later, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. there's room for everyone. That's a lie, Alicia. There's not room for everyone on that stage. There's room for one. Don't say stupid shit. <laughs> the song close. Oh, no, it wasn't close. Why don't you focus on Patrick? He's doing a good job. How about that? Hey, Patrick, great job, buddy. Harley, you're not good. Get off. Patrick's over there doing his, he's always doing two at a time and she's focusing on Harley just standing there. She definitely has favorites. Okay, get to this circus. So is it, what is it? It just looks like you walk around and you, you spend money. Is one lady balancing a broom? Because I can do that. Yeah. 
That was shit. I could do that. What? What? Better do something better than that. He's doing this to Zach. Yeah, they're just spending more money. Okay. Make sure you get Jason one too, please. Put Jason one. Well, here's your $30 plastic store that you're going to break in two seconds. Throw in the garbage. Oh, it is Bob. <laughs> I don't think Bob walks anymore. So, I mean, is he really going to develop a show or is they, are they connected? I, I want to know the connection. What the hell is this connection? Who is what? Bob, man, maybe just take retire. It's time to just take your wealth and just go live. Don't give these people a platform. Maybe clean your lens, Alicia. Dirty. Yeah. Like everything else in your life, it's dirty. I think a lot of these kids have sensory issues too. Oh, and this is one of the big things of contention that everybody's kind of pissed at. Now, Harley has to go do an ear surgery because she has bad ears. Okay, she has to get tubes put in her ears. I know this because when I was a kid, I had the worst ears ever. I once popped my eardrum by swimming nine feet underwater, popped my drum, had to go to the hospital. I know what bad ears are like. I, that's why I hate flying. I am chron I have had chronically bad ears since I was a child. I don't know if that's a thing, if that has to do with, I don't know. I just know that a lot of kids have ear problems. So not only does she have ear problems and has to go for a surgery for that, she flew twice. So this kid is probably actually in pain, to be honest with you. Like I would never take my child to this without at least a pair of like ear protection. Like this is loud and I can tell it's loud. So she's going through it. A lot of people are very upset that Alicia doesn't seem to give a shit that her daughter has ear issues and flies twice. <laughs> Pretty sure you're not supposed to be filming this. Yeah, that's VIP seats right there. Boom. $114 a piece. This is actually a great thing for the littles. I don't think the teenagers are probably that happy. They could, like, we wanted to go clubbing. I need you to see this too. I need you to see this. So the kids are finally doing something they all love. What is Alicia doing? Filming the whole thing. Alicia can't even put the damn camera down for two seconds to enjoy something with her family. She's not even sitting with her family. She's off to the side filming her family. That's what she's doing. That's got to piss you off a little bit. A little bit. And Josh like, enjoy this with us. I would be so upset if this is my wife. I'm like, you are not spending, and you never spend any time with us. All you do is film this. Come spend time with your friends. In family. Half the kids are like, is it over yet? Is the circus over? We need to go get some corn dogs. It's not funny, Alicia. One too many at the old restaurant, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's a little bit lushed in the bag, you know? This is Weston right now. Build, he just built shit out of anything. What's Josh got in his hand there? A beer! If you're traveling with your children, hold off on the alcohol just for the weekend. Can we, can we just be there? You're in New York City. I know you have security and you have the people. Just don't drink for the weekend. Can you just not for one effing day drink? Just for one day. For me, I think Josh has the bigger problem than Alicia does. And that's why he's likely not on camera a lot. That's what my conjecture is. I think he gets drunk a lot. He can't even enjoy himself without having a beer in his hand. And if he's drinking, you know she's probably drinking. Yeah, it's satisfying. <laughs> Don't say that, please. Yeah. What do you think, Harley? <laughs> Harley, like, because these kids need to go to bed. Corn dogs. Every fucking step she films. And the thing is, she cuts things, but she's filming the entire day. Oh my gosh, it is 10 15 at night. I cannot believe we all did this off of like one hour of sleep. I'm so impressed with my kids. This is not a flex, Alicia. It's not a flex. My kids only got one hour of sleep. We've been up for like 20 hours doing things and I'm so impressed with my kids. Again, if your kids are on Coogan Law, you just admitted right there on camera how many rules and laws you broke for this like for kids acting. Today was amazing. Thank you for spending the day with us. She is. Hi, everybody.
she's definitely this is the now you can if you want to know what Alicia looks like when she's in the bag right there this is her after a few drinks that's it right there there's an actual big difference between her demeanor when she's not drinking and when she's drinking and this is drinking you are strong you are beautiful you are love you're a sugar 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 sounds like Joe Biden out of you See you next time. F off. Well, that was crazy. So she just did flex. I'm so proud of my kids. I'm so proud of my kids for getting one hour of sleep and doing all that. What? You just fed them full of sugar all day long. That's how they stayed up. Now these kids are crashing really hard. That's really, really bad for your kids. And then she's going to wake them up the next day, like eight o'clock in the morning. More donuts, more pizza, more eating bullshit and just going around. It's just garbage, man. Like the circus was awesome. But put your camera down and hang out with your family. You butthole. Everybody take a deep breath. Hmm. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad you've been with me this whole time. Snarkmas is just getting heated up. We got lots to talk about coming up. I want to do Crazy Pieces video this week because the second video when they went to get the cast and they got like called out and ratioed for that. I am going to call... I'm going to do the... Um, I'm looking at John Kate plus eight situation that's going on. We're going to look at other people, snarking some old people that we haven't snarked on in a long time. Just to have some fun. we got to toss it up a little bit. We can't do Dr. Dozen every day, although I know you'd probably like that, but we can't. I just can't do it. But you guys are amazing, valuable, incredible, and just beautiful and gorgeous. Don't you forget it, man. Don't fly flare. And don't watch these people, all right? And I'll see you tomorrow.